to show you how to tandem twins, one on front, one on back. Um, the first one, when you're back with a rough tight at shoulder, uh, and the second one with a front wrap cross carry type, um, type carry in the front. So the first thing that you want to do is get your first twin on your back. I'm using my base size. This is a size six, um, and I'm going to start her right where I would normally start a rough tight at shoulder, which is about, for me, about one arm length down. Um, so it's not gonna be centered on her back or anything. You're gonna have one really long tail and one short tail. So I'm gonna get my twin up on my back using a Superman toss. So I put the wrap over her shoulders and I grab onto her shoulders both of my twins have really excellent head and torso control. Um, they're about three months old. So shoulders uh, have the wrap over them and I'm gripping both shoulders, kind of the tops of the arms, not just the shoulders. Uh, and I'm bringing my fingers over the front of her shoulders to really support it there. And I'm gonna swing her around my shoulder, kind of like how you might put on a coat. And then I'm going to step around so that I don't get the wrap tangled. All right. At this point, I want to secure her with my top rails under my chin. And I'm going to reach behind me, make a C, but pulling the wrap up between the two of us. I'm going to gather both tails, bunch them over my shoulders. My short tail that's gonna stay there. My long tail, I'm gonna bring here. I want it touching the rough pass all the way across, stays bunched, doesn't go under her legs at all. Okay, at this point, you have a couple of tie off options. You can do what's called a candy cane chest belt where you twist it around and then loop it over here. You can tie off a square knot here or you can do what's called a bularia finish, which is where you do a half knot on one shoulder and you tuck it around here. I find that this one is my favorite for having a little bit more support across the chest, uh, but not fully in the way of the other twin. All right, so you see, I have this really long tail it goes down past the floor. This is what I'm going to use multiple times through the shoulder straps to make the carry for the other baby. All right, so I'm going to take this long tail and I'm gonna pass it through the opposite shoulder. You just wanna make sure that if you have like a knotless finish or a candy cane chest belt, which you've just tucked through the shoulder strap that you aren't undoing it. I like to tuck it, bring it from under me. I find that it's a little bit easier to adjust than if I were to bring it over the top and down. And I just did that thing that I told you to watch out for. All right. So I've made a horizontal pass, a little pouch in the front. We call this a horizontal pass in tandem wrapping, we often call it like a pouch um, in front. So I'm gonna grab my second baby at this point and put her in. And then bring it right through just like in a front wrap cross carry. So that's really what I'm emulating here. I tuck the wrap underneath her butt to make a seat. I bring the top rail over her shoulders and I'm gonna tighten. There's a little bit of slack here. I'm just gonna tighten that down. You don't wanna tighten too much. All right, so I still have the tail that goes down to the floor. I'm short. And what I'm going to do with this tail you can either, you can do a variety of things. 
What I'm gonna do, I'm going to spread it across her back and tuck it up under her legs. So this is like one pass of a front wrap cross carry cross pass. What I'm going to do is I'm going to tuck that pass up underneath the other shoulder strap where that long pass originated. Okay, so now I've got still a long tail, not quite so long. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to bring it spread across her back underneath this leg. And now I'm going to finish it off by tucking it over the opposite shoulder strap. And the tension of the carrier is the tension of the wrap against itself is going to hold. So you can do a ring finish if you would like. I'm going to make sure that her legs are free and loose there. You can bring the spread passes up to their shoulders. But this is like a front cross carry in the front with a rut tight at shoulder in the back. You can also do this with a much shorter wrap. I can do with base minus one, base minus two. Do the same kind of carry with the pouch in the front and just a single bunch pass like I did in my back carry and tuck it over the side. So it's a little bit, um, it's not quite as supportive for the front baby, but it's a little bit quicker and you can do it with a much shorter wrap. So this is rock tight at shoulder in the back with a Valeria finish and then a front wrap cross carry with the long tail.